Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on Testing Remote Monitoring of Breakers for Status and Position in Ecostructure Power Commission. In this demonstration, you will view the procedure to perform breaker status and cradle position test. Testing remote monitoring of breakers for status and position proves that the breaker status and cradle position is communicated through the remote communication channel. To see it on a supervisory or monitoring software, you can generate the detailed report that gives information about the test. Let's now view the procedure to perform the breaker status and cradle position test. Begin by connecting with the device directly. Once the device is connected, Access the Tests menu and select Breaker Status and Cradle Position Test. The Breaker Status and Cradle Position Test screen will appear. If you want to edit the device name, click the device name and edit the name as required. You will be asked to save the modified name when you click the Close icon. Now, select the devices from the list by clicking the checkbox against the device name, Switchboard or by selecting each individual device. Next, click Run Test. Ecostructure Power Commission tool will start monitoring the breaker status and cradle position for the selected breakers and displays the current status. Any change in the breaker status and cradle is accompanied by an updated status in Test Results, along with the screen flashing green with a sound in case you are far away and can't see the status. A new entry will be added in the log for every change and is displayed in the right pane of the screen. Next, to end the test, click End Test. The summary of all tests which are performed will appear. Click Start again to run the test again. If you want to generate the breaker status and cradle position test report, click Generate Report. Enter the end user site details if not already filled earlier and click Continue. Here is the generated report. You can save or print the breaker status and cradle position test report as required. This concludes the video on Breaker Status and Cradle Position Test in Ecostructure Power Commission. In this video, we saw the procedure to perform breaker status and cradle position test.